So guys, I hope you are doing great today. And this is a post com. I'm showing you my new cobra strategy. It works on Red Balloon Cave better than any strategy, I believe. Maybe E for one minute. So first of all, you want to start off with the cobra. And remember, do not anti stop. Your point is mixed eco. Every single eco matters to defend round 24. This is the downdraft of this strategy. With bomb, it's easy to defend uh, round 24 with ninja and. Uh, Lower eco, it's very difficult. However, if you can defend round 24, you can defend as good as ninja farm mortar, basically, because you will have equal eco equal to the normal eco strategies, while you will have your ninja and mortar ready. Plus, you always have cobra's misdirection to misdirect BFPs, so you might even outlast ninja farm mortar players who got unlucky for. So, as you can see, I'm Mix eating. My both cobras are on strong. Uh, most of your cobras should always be on strong, especially first few cobras. So I'm just putting blues, attacking him, and going eco. Uh, as you can see, I didn't even put my mortar ahead because he's struggling a little bit, and I'm putting my cobra at the back as well. This is very important. Uh, unless they are Ecoing, this is very important. Or maybe they are going mixed eco. That's how you want to place your cobras. The back cobra is for cleanup. It should be on first. And uh, I'm just layering some pinks, some blacks. You always want to keep constantly going eco. Uh, however, round seven, it's up to you. I suppose, I think it's better to get like 500, 550 eco and then build cobras till the end of round seven and then go for yellows. Or you can just keep echoing, you can layer some blacks, some pinks, whatever. And uh, now as you can see I'm getting my fourth cobra also at the back and uh, I'm leaving it on first as well. Uh, having cobras on first is very important. Uh, not all of them obviously, a few of them. For around uh, 10, round 11 it's extremely important to not mess up regrolet, regro zebras, or I'm going to show you as well a new rush by the way. I have been working on it and it seems to work pretty well. Not in this game, this game he has bomb, but I believe the next game will be against ninja uh, farm, so I'll show you a really interesting rush, which you can do with cobras. You don't want to do it while having farms, because you will get punished, but with cobras it works pretty well. Here is the general round 11 against dark bomb rush. And uh, as you can see, he had to build a lot. He could have had uh, five to zeros by now. Uh, yeah, by now he would have five to zeros if I didn't do this rush, but I made him build more darts, so he didn't greet. And as you can see, I have uh, 10 Cobras and I have 750 Balloon Eco. I'm getting second mortar just in case he allows me. Yes, now let's talk about round 13. You might think, how on earth are you going to defend round 13? Well. You sell a few Cobras, you get big one. If he goes straight away round 13 for all out boosted rush. If he tries to bait you for a boost, you get second free, you get, you have one mortar which is two free, you get one more mortar which will be free two, and uh, you get free one ninja, plus your Cobras should be already on strong, most of them, a few of them on first as well. Uh, and uh, this should be enough, if you micro your mortar on this map, this should be enough to not boost and defend any bait rush. Unless they go complete all out, then you need big one. And, surprisingly, uh, you can just sell your Cobras and get a freaking big one. All you need is 4-0, then 4-1 and then 4-2, you defend easily round 13. But first you don't get like 3-2 uh, mortar, you get 4-0, then you build. So he went for his factory, that was super greedy, as you can see, you don't want to go for a factory against Cobra player on round 18, because now we are starting our adjustment, we have 1100 eco, and we have a ton, ton of Cobras, like that's so many Cobras, now we are not getting every single Cobra to 2-0, no, well, all we need is like 10 12 cobras depends how much eco we have because here comes round 20 and you can see what, where is my mouse now and uh, now we are sending bfp straight away yes he could have allowed us we will just sell our zero our one zero cobras all of them and we will try to defend see that's the point of this you don't get all to two zeros you leave some cash to rush him then you have to rebuild your eco obviously after the bfp sent plus you want to put some adjustments i think i went too much on adjustments here uh, because see he has super monkey fun club and he can defend this 
I should have probably went for 1200 pico, but that doesn't really matter. And I have Ninja Mortar. Ninja Mortar outlasts Dark Farm uh, Bomb easily. And you can see he's at 3 lives. Uh, I was just echoing, and then I thought, hmm, why not to send him another BFP? So I'm sending him another BFP, and I'm echoing. <coughs> Excuse me. As you can see, I have 1148 balloon eco, and now I'm building more and more eco. I have so many cobras here, I have mortars, and I have ninja. He probably thinks I have bomb, but I'm just using mortars. But as you can see, that's what I have learned from playing ninja farm mortar a lot. You can defend most of the rushes with mortar. You don't really even need the cobras for uh, the ninja. For space balloons, yes, you need it. But uh, basically, we have cobras, right, for space balloons, so that's uh, about it. And I got Superman PS4, so this game was in my bag anyway. Uh, he could not do anything, I'm just equipping, as you can see, it's... I am at almost the point where I would have been if I went for a balloon eco. Almost at that point. So I got my big one, I sold the uh, mortar which I had, and he went for a bunch of space, uh, for a bunch of group camo things, which didn't do anything because I have ninja and I don't even need my second mortar for this. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of 2 0 cobras. Each 2 0 cobra is uh, worth a uh, thousand bucks. Plus, I have uh, 2 4 cobras for misdirection. I'm just preparing for any rush or just to resend AI balloons. And I think I went too much on cobras. I should have been now at like 2300 balloon eco at least. Because uh, he got so many juggernauts, uh, I should have equipped a bit more first, then uh, get these Cobras. Uh, and you can see, even Cobras popping power on Moabs is just so good <laughs> that it's insane. And uh, it's already round 27, he can't do much, he has only one factory and his free uh, zero farm, which is absolutely nothing, his balloon eco is absolutely nothing, it's like 400 something. Now, at this point, I'm getting more money from my Cobras and Balloon Eco than he is getting from his factory and Free Zero farm. And he is already getting more molars, and I am getting misdirections. So, here, uh, it's pretty... It's basically over for him, he can't do anything. And see, the point here is, with Bomb, yes, you can defend easier all, all outs before round 18, and you can defend round 24 with Bomb Combra Mortar. With Ninja, it's very difficult to defend. That's why I was saying, do not freaking anti-stall. You have to build your eco, because that's what's going to mostly help you on uh, round 24 defense. If you have at least 1200 eco and like 15 0 Cobras, uh, all I can say is rip for your opponent, because there is no way he can win you on round 24. Uh, because you have so much money. He has two factories, this is trash. If he went ninja farm mortar, I bet he would have like at least four factories. He sold his factory and he's rebuilding it right now. Uh, that's pretty rip. Yeah, I kind of messed up here. Uh, I really messed up here. I forgot about transfers too. Because I was so focused, I was... Uh, well, not focused, I was so relaxed. No, <laughs> if I were focused, I wouldn't leak. So I'm getting a bunch of cobras just to make him struggle more. And later on, they would all go for misdirections. And trust me, Dark Bomb would die really soon. And our eco is almost 4000. We have a lot of Cobras. And 3696 is not even a good eco at this point. I could have had like 4500. I was just afraid uh, because it was the first time, like maybe third game uh, since I started recording this strategy and I was testing it before that. And uh, please notice, this is for Dread Balloon Cave. I don't know how it works on other maps, maybe it cannot defend round 13 all out, because it's actually pretty difficult, you have to micro like crazy and plus you have to make sure you have enough money, maybe on let's say offsite you won't have enough money for uh, round 24, uh, unlike here you have so much money round 24 that you can defend it, so I, I have no idea, on steps I would not recommend uh, steps as battle sense for you who don't know. Uh, I think it won't work. And I just went for a zero G and that's uh, game over. Like, that bomb is nothing. You cannot win this uh, Cobra Ninja Mortar strategy with uh, Tart <coughs> Farm Bomb. 
it's impossible. Maybe Dark Ninja Farm or uh, uh, Ninja Farm Water. Come on, that's, that's the strategy which beats Cobras. But uh, not when I have Sutterman, he has my fourth. Now, basically, all I have to do is keep misdirecting. If he all outed me before that, I would defend it. I would freaking defend it without Super Monkey. I would defend it for this video without Super Monkey. He has got Balloon Chipper, but somehow he still dies to this rush. I mean, come on, he had above the Balloon Chipper. Why didn't he sell? He could have defended this with Balloon Chipper, surprisingly. Um, and uh, let's move to the game too. Uh, GG, my friend. So, his name is I am Noob. And this is going to be a very weird game. Uh, I believe that's the guy who will face palm me now. Yes, 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 the, that's the lame guy. Uh, I, I will make a spoiler, I won all of the games. I didn't lose a single. I went 11-0 with this strategy in Dread Balloon Cave. Uh, I won every single person. And he starts with an ice. What I was thinking in the beginning, he has Dart Farm Ice. And he knew I'm echoing, so he went for a 2-0 ice, because it's enough to defend. He face pounds me. Ah, come on, these BMers are just too annoying. Like, uh, no, I, I don't think you need a mute button. No, I don't agree with that. It's kind of fun. Like, it makes you angry, you know, you want to crush him and destroy him in the game. And you focus more. So I think BMing is kind of stimulating you to play more. Unless it's like Ceramic Crucible or Moe Pit, yes, in this terrible arena there definitely should be a new button because so many times I faced BMers who just got destroyed in these arenas and they went like wizard or something, which was not fun at all. So yeah, uh, again I'm building my Cobras, he's doing some weird stuff, so I'm not even worried. I already knew I won this game anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm just face palming him for doing this weird stuff. <clears throat> no way he can win my strategy with his strategy. Ice farm heavy pilot. Maybe he was testing, maybe he thought this is a really good viable strategy. I'm just building four cobras since he hasn't pressurized me, I'm being really greedy. Four cobras will give me a lot, a lot of money. And uh, that's pretty simple to do everything in here. And uh, I should have probably sped up this, but I wanted to show you slower. Uh, next videos will be sped up, like the first game was sped up, but this one is uh, normal speed. I just want to show you every single step slowly, slowly, since it's a tutorial. Um, Ninja Cobra Mortar is basically unbeatable on Dread Balloon Cave. Only Balloon Eco, I think, can defend this. I don't think Ninja Farm Mortar, unless, 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 you are playing it wrong and your opponent is really good with ninja farm mortar then he will beat you obviously if you cannot defend round 24 with ninja mortar don't go this strategy if you can defend go the strategy please i'll be very happy to see people <laughs> winning with this strategy because i invested quite some time in developing it and uh, see the thing is i was playing ninja farm mortar lately a lot like i was using two strategies dart farm ninja and ninja farm mortar well dart farm ninja is really difficult if your opponent goes mixed eco it's kind of difficult to pull it off but if he just farms and you go mixed eco until 1k and then you get your factory around 21 22 that's fun strategy that's the only way it works but other way around it's very difficult to pull it off so mostly i was playing ninja farm mortar and uh, i was thinking I can defend with Ninja Mortar pretty much anything till around like 35. So why not to use Cobras? I can use Cobras super effectively uh, with Bomb Mortar. So why not to do it with Ninja Mortar? And as you can see, my Eco is 630. He's face palming me. He allowed me to have 650 Eco by round 10 with having 9 one zero cobras and i have my mortar and he keeps face spawning me he has three two zero farms that's good but what it was supposed to be he is supposed to have three two zero farms by round 11 uh, and like now he should have upgraded his third farm to two zero but i should have had like around 550 to 600 balloon equal so he played this terribly i have no idea who that guy is uh, but he played this terribly like I mean, I wouldn't say he played this terribly if he didn't face spawn me, but he did, so yeah. He played this very terribly to face spawn me. 
So now he's selling his farms because I sent whites with uh, Rigro Zebra to layer there since uh, he's not anti-stalling at all, like all his towers are at the back. So I can easily layer anything I want. And uh, I'm waiting for his all out. He has nothing to do, he has to all out. So now I'm showing you, he boosted all out me. I boosted first, then I got my mortar. That's it, that's GG. He can do shit to me, sorry for it, but he cannot. Uh, very easy. I have 800 eco, he has like... 320 eco, 315, and I have my 5 cobras. All I'm not even selling my mortar because I, I was expecting it. the second I sell my mortar he will rush me again. Now he's trying to exploit my mortar, but uh, yeah, he just went for one set of flats. Probably he realized he doesn't have money, or maybe it's not the best thing to do. And as you can see, I have eight cobras, and I'm just starting to adjust him. At this point, see, you can adjust like to the situation. Obviously, I could have just allowed him with uh, Vigro Rainbows and I... You know, probably he would uh, get Ice Shards and defend it. And for Camo Balloons, he is Heli Pilots are pretty good. So yeah, I didn't want to all out him at all. I, I was just ahead, like 900 Eco, 9 Cobras. What on earth can he do to me? And I have my big one. No Balloon Rush can hurt me. Uh, more of class Balloons, trust me, Cobras are insane. I can get my 3-1 Ninja. Mixed with this Cobras, plus micro big one, it, I think it deals damage to Moabs as well, I'm not sure, I don't really care, but I can micro my big one to kill the Ceramics, and I'm getting a few Cobras, expecting a Moab rush from him, and uh, basically that's it, and plus it's time to adjust, see, even with this weirdness, while having a big one, I have 1000 Eco, and I have a bunch of, he's face pounding me, dude, you lost this game by round 11, by round 10, when I had 700 eco, you lost this game. That was the time when the game was over for you, and <laughs> you are still face spawning. Like, this guy is so lame. I, I was going for, like, win strike. I needed to win every single game with this strategy. I don't care. So, and I won, I won, I won. 10-0 uh, or 11-0. Uh, I went in this arena with that strategy. I defended uh, Zoe and G-Rush, I defended... I think the next uh, video is with the Zoin G rush. I just didn't record everything because my PC was super laggy. And he is trying to bait me, so he is rushing me with the BFP. But uh, what a surprise, I have a ninja. If I really wanted, I could have even got Sabo and uh, easily defended this with Sabo. But I just sent him a BFP back and ninjas just destroyed more balloons. Big one destroyed ceramics. There is no way he could have done anything. And here is the last game. I'm facing Linen. I know this guy. And um, well, apparently, unfortunately for him, Ninja Mortar. Yeah, I am showing you crying face that I have got uh, Tax Shooter as four because this guy is pretty good. So still, even with terrible four, like no, Tax Shooter is amazing for round 13 to 18. Trust me, it's a great help. You don't need to get a uh, big one. You only need Ring of Fire, that's it. With Cobras and uh, two free mortar, uh, Ring of Fire easily defends. So, I'm again starting the same way I do with the Cobras. I don't anti-stall, because you can see how much more money you get if you do not anti-stall. So what I can suggest, if you don't like Cobras, go anti-stall against mixed Cobra Eco player. Uh, but remember one thing, you will hurt yourself first of all by anti-stalling, no matter which strategy you are pulling off. Unless this is farm versus uh, versus balloon eco, if you anti-stall, you will hurt yourself. So he's going ninja farm. Finally, we see ninja farm, the meta strategy. And uh, uh, most of my games were against ninja farm, but I recorded only this one. Uh, because my PC was laggy. Even here, I think it will be a little bit laggy. Uh, so, I got my mortar, and I'm keeping it at the back. As I said, do not anti-stall. You need this eco, because he can allow me and uh, hurt me a lot. So, I need to prepare in advance. That's why I'm building my balloon eco slowly, slowly. I'm not anti-stalling. Two Cobras cannot anti-stall, and Mortar is in the back. Yeah, as you can see, some crazy luck was happening to me in this game. I messed it up so bad, I still won this game. See how overpowered this strategy is. I still won this game, despite of crazy luck. And I'm boosting some things so I can build the Cobra, and I had crazy luck so I couldn't focus 
on going crazy blues and then simultaneously press number two, build the cobra, and then uh, <clears throat> rebuild something. I have no idea what was going on right now. Uh, I honestly do not have a single idea. Um, this was crazy luck happening, and I'm really sorry, but I'm still, I still wanted to show you this game as well because I needed to put some ninja farm strategy, and uh, uh, this game will be interesting. Uh, I already said I won all of the games, but uh, this game will be actually interesting compared to previous ones where people just defended and then died. Uh, this one will be actually interesting. Second game was trash, I know, I know. The BM guy played like trash, used some weird strategy. Uh, I know that. So this guy is actually doing the right thing. See, he's keeping me to 440 eco now. Uh, how much eco did I have in game 2? I believe I had already over 500 or 490, something like that, with, with 4 or 5 Cobra. So you can see the difference, like, you have to pressurize Cobra. Uh, this guy is messing up, he's anti-stalling, he's hurting himself, and uh, he has 2 2 zero files, but he has 17 lives. That's basically game over. Good round 15 rush will force him to boost or sell farms. Good round 13 rush, and uh, I will show you, I believe in this game I did the uh, round 10, 10 rush, which keeps off guard so many people. Whoa. Every single game I face Ninja Mortar, they boost, they don't expect. I, I think just wait a few days and people will get used to this and they will be prepared. But uh, on the time when I played these games, it was yesterday, uh, on the boss arena, uh, people were so unready, so unprepared for that rush. I'm just getting my Cobras, my Eco is almost 600, I have 710 Cobras, I'm getting the 8th one, I mean, come on. And uh, now I'm doing 2 Regro Leds, 1 Regro White, and then Pinks on top of that. People just don't expect, and they don't think how OP this actually is, so you can see, Regro Whites, they lay layer on Regro Leds, I, I should have sent more Pinks, I believe, but... Uh, I still force him to build his ninja, and he cried, because he wasted a lot of money, and I was just building my eco. What, uh, one regrolet, well, two regrolets, one regro white, I didn't waste a lot of money. And I <laughs> usually don't pop round 12 green, just to bait them to send a few camo balloons if they want. Uh, as you seen, also I went for... Uh... Okay, wait, wait. Uh, see, the, I'm just getting Ring of Fire. That was actually a really good buy trash. And uh, without Ring of Fire, it would have been a lot more harder for me to defend this. I would have went for Bloom Jitsu and uh, another Mortar. Since it's not Ring or Rainbow allowed. Or maybe even just Bloom Jitsu with uh, Cobras would have been enough. So yeah. Mm, I got lucky with my fourth in this case and it was very cheap to get the Ring of Fire. Uh, I don't know, he could have baited me again, but then he would waste so much money, and uh, like, it's basically not him baiting me to use my boost, it's me baiting him to rush me, so for me, I'm not losing a lot if I build and sell Ring of Fire, but for him, he loses so much money on Regro Zebras, and this is uncomparable to me. And now, I love Round 16 AI, uh, always, makes people defend and uh, I sent a few blacks just to mess up his ninjas and then I sent regrolets and things on top of them uh, uh, that's very dangerous for him, he had to boost him uh, he lived to one life, I know that's insane I was afraid he would die because I wanted to actually see somebody good playing against me uh, apparently he didn't really play this well he has one life, <laughs> he has like one boost and uh, he has six two zeros whereas he is supposed to have by now one three zero and five two zeros yeah, so he's uh, behind the average farm which he is supposed to have against cobras and i'm preparing my cobras as my main moe popping power it's not it's not even like building eco it's main moe popping power plus around 19 uh, two zero so i'm just saying destroy for fun I didn't need this ninja, honestly, I didn't even need, I, I could have just micro uh, mortars, I didn't need the ninja, 
it was a mistake on my side. I shouldn't have shown him ninja, so he would think that later on I'm screwed. Uh, that's the also another idea. No one expects Cobra Ninja Mortar, so it's a very unexpected sequence of events. But see, I, I'm showing just you can defend with Mortar Cobra, and I'm going to test the strategy. I, I, I'm not the biggest fan of Cobra, like. But I, I'm not like others, I don't hate on Cobra. I mean, it's a tower in the game. It's like, you know, if you play it... Uh, and see, like, as general, round 20 BFP. So yeah, if you play Clash Royale, Cobra is basically a small royal giant of Balloon's tower defense. He has got the big one, and uh, he wasted so much money on big one. And now comes the BFP, and now, if you can see, if you can see that there is a Cobra, he built a Cobra, he got it as fourth which is pretty unlucky for me. So I have to get misdirection straight away, so because it takes time for misdirection to work. And uh, mm, I was hoping I don't pop the BFP, otherwise I would just resend one more. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, basically see how much pressure I put on him. And uh, this strategy is just insane on Dread Balloon Cave, not much you can do. And while he was preparing to defend the BFP, I sent a moil. Uh, so he cannot resend the BFP because he will have to deal with the Moep and he will 99.999% mess it up. At this point the game is over. Look at his farms, look at my Balloon Eco and at my Cobras. The game is over right here. There is nothing he can do, there is no way he can make a comeback from here. And uh, that's basically a good game well played. I'm not sure if it's the game. Yeah, I think it's the game, it's the one. Uh, I defend at round 22 as well. Mm, or he's dying now, or he's rushing me. Yeah, here is the ZOMG. I played like trash. I played like real trash against this. My PC was lagging so badly. I, I wouldn't let balloons reach even half of the screen. But uh, because I, my PC was lagging, I couldn't do anything. I, I was just so mad from the lag, I couldn't even think properly. And here he is sending BFPs, which is not sure if it's a good decision, because I'll misdirect a few of them, obviously, yeah, since I have Cobras. Uh, what I should have done, I should have focused more on popping the ZOMG layer and then Sabo again and uh, misdirecting, while maybe even uh, using Mortar Stall. But anyway, because of the luck I couldn't focus, so I'm just selling all the Cobras and uh, using Mortar Stall ability. Here I could have gotten one Cobra uh, for descending one of the BFPs and making it easier. Here, because of the luck I was getting so angry, I, I wouldn't probably even sell all of my Cobras. It's easy to defend, guys. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this.